And for Eid, um, a Bahraini artist actually did something super cool. I've been hearing about Yara uh, Ayub for a while. I've been seeing her rapping the um, Abaya Tal Ras, and I'm like, that's so interesting. I'm like, I've never seen anyone really done that in, um, in, in mainstream media, in the Middle East at least, or online. And so I always kind of, when I saw her, I found her to be cool. And you know, as a half Bahrain myself, I have to rep my people, I ha- like, especially when you're doing something so awesome like this. But anyway, she created a digital art that is actually for, for the Khaliji Art Museum that is being featured right now on a building in Dubai Festival City Mall. It's so, so cool. The image shows Yara, you know, in, in her own element, wearing the abaya al ras, which is um, the abaya that goes over your head and doesn't like just stop at the shoulders. Um, it's usually typically worn by the older generation in the Khalij. Um, but she wore that and she has obviously the, the, the golden jewels draping over her head. And um, she's not accepting the money with her hands. She's got gloves on. And she's accepting it with this. spatula of sorts but i mean anyway the whole thing looks really cool again if you're on our website you can probably you can check it out right now the instagrammies who can't instagrammies who can't see it right now um head on over to the website you can see the image there but we just had to feature this because um she called it aid amid covid and i think it, it it's such a hilarious but also such an artsy take Um, while representing the culture. So I'm proud of you, Yara, that this was shown to the Khaliji Art Museum. We hope to see more things from you so that we can hear more and more about the Bahraini culture. Because mind you, like I really don't see the Abayat al-Ras being worn. Like, I only still to this day would see it on my grandmother. And to me, that just seeing a younger person don it, it yeah. makes me feel like, oh, that's so cool. It reminds me of home, even though I'm not, I'm not there I'm right I'm proud now. of her. Because like, when it comes to art, recently you have noticed a lot of like, you know, uh, Arab artists that are coming out you know, with their like, background. Exactly. Mixing it, And like, it's necessary. Yeah, like this is... I think pop art, I'm not an art expert, but this is amazing. Yeah. When you take what you have and be proud of it and share it out there. Because, you know... Because it's one yeah. thing to wear an abaya, for example. Everyone's yeah. doing that now. But she really took something on and I'm like, exactly. wow, that's that's super interesting. I'm like, I didn't ever, you know, think to to do that. But that yeah. one statement, wearing the abaya the ras, as the normally, she's normalizing. And I'm like, yeah, it does look cool. Yeah. Why shouldn't it be worn more and more? I mean, it's... It's so, for me, it's just so, it's so Bahrainian. Exactly. It represents such a, the traditions of the older generation, which we love. It reminds us of home, our mothers, our grandmothers, them cooking at home. It's just beautiful. So cute. Um, and Yara Ayub actually is the brow ambassador for, was it Benefit? I'm not trying to get this wrong. Yeah, she's the Benefit Middle East brow ambassador as well. She's worked with Khalid Al Amri and Salama in the past. And she's, again, always, always um, including her culture and her love for art and everything that she does. And she's really awesome at doing her makeup. I must say, I must say, it's really, it's, it's out here. So thank you, Yara, for doing this and for, you know, creating more of a path for other Bahraini artists, Khaliji arti- artists to come into prominence. We love that. We love that for you, girl.